What's up, boo? Welcome to the vlog. I am, I'm in Maple Ridge right now, actually. I just wrapped off of being on set. I was on set for, hmm, maybe 13 or 14 hours. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about is what happened to my YouTube channel and why it died. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to find out what happened to my channel. And if you want to start a YouTube channel or if you want to start anything in 2019, I'll give you some tips to get you started, all right? So basically, I started YouTube in 2014 and I did it just to post videos like vlogs. I did it to post dance videos. I did it to post my singing videos that I could share with my family. Um, my first ever video was a dance video and I, wa I, I wanted it out there so that I could get critique so I can be a be become a better dancer. And then right after that I posted vlogs of me and my friends and me and my girlfriend at the time and me and just my family having fun just as a memory. Um, and then I started doing singing covers and back then I just thought like, oh, what's 400 views? That's not a lot. And then I got discouraged and I, I just stopped posting. And, and I look back on it because those were the times where my, my channel actually grew the most because it might not happen at first, but over time, the, the views they accumulate, right? So then, fast forward to now. I'm an aspiring Hollywood actor. I am doing a scene in a hospital, and I, I'm in this hospital, right? I'm, I'm playing an orderly, okay? And in the hospital, it's, since it's an actual hospital, we're dealing with actual patients passing by. And if you ever want to start something and you you don't start it, you just feel like you're not, you kind of feel like you're scared to start, you know? The fastest way to get out of that fear is if you go somewhere where you force yourself to be inspired. Like you force yourself to go to a retirement home. You force yourself to go to a place where people are sick and you feel, you see like, you see, you literally see death before your eyes and you see like, hey, I don't want my dreams to die too. And then that's when you, you can start. It doesn't have to be YouTube, it could be anything else. It could just be any dream that you want. Like if you wanna be a doctor, if you wanna be an astronaut. But that's like something I never thought would motivate me to see someone else have, like you don't ever wanna live with regret, right? So fast forward to now, looking back on why my YouTube channel died and the number one reason why my YouTube channel died is because I stopped posting, okay? So I was, I was posting mostly like whenever I felt like it, you know? And my results would come up whenever I felt like it, you know? Like I would, my, one of my biggest videos is my hotline bling video that has like 30K, my air cruisers video, which has like 84K, but none of it matters now because I, I, I don't have that, that momentum, you know? And the way YouTube works, it's kind of like a snowball. But the only reason why I stopped was because, not because I didn't believe in myself, it's just I let the opinions of other people um, dictate how I felt and what I posted and how I, I, I did my YouTube channel. So, the biggest thing I learned, which I learned today, was from the Tad, and he told me that it's hard sometimes when when people bring you down and people talk to you and it's really harsh, but the number one thing is you don't have to take it personal, right? And and the more you do it, the more the better you get. The more you take that, the better you your abilities are, you know? So that's why my YouTube channel is dead. But honestly, I couldn't be more happier because I have you watching me right now and the, like the four, five, six, seven, eight, like, like the 10 core,
people that come to my videos every single day, that comment every single day, that, that leave likes. Like I have a really good solid group and I, I couldn't be happier because now I'm posting every single day and I'm just, I'm not even rushing at all. I'm just enjoying it this time, you know? So I know, like, I wish I kept going, but you can't live in, in the past. You gotta live, like, your, your past is not a part of your future. And I think together we can make a really good one. So if you, if you like that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and don't forget to don't sweat the small stuff. You guys will always be my boo, and I'll see you guys in my next video, all right? Peace, homies. Bye, boo.